Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. This is part two. Don't ask. It's not that kale rubbish. It is just raw eggs and banana and some protein and stuff. But we've got to start somewhere. I'm getting old. Need to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right. Not happy with my mother butter box. Yeah, it just angry me that did. In part one, that video was actually 45 minutes long. There was loads on the cutting floor in the end. It ended up 25 minutes long. And I realised that I was um, um, um at the beginning. I was doing three jobs at once, that's why. I also realised that I spoke about the front exhausts a lot. I'm actually going to re-edit it, trying to get it down a little bit more, so I'm not talking about the same stuff again and again and again. However, this video today, I'm going to just do it quite simple. If you're, if you're in, blah, blah, in, blah, blah, in, and then the panel's on, and then the reveal, and start, and happy day. So let's get on with this video and stop chatting. Air filter box. Nice bag. Nice and easy replacement. Put that in. Put the cover on, job done. Simple. The cover. One bolt. Two bolts. Tiny up. Simple as that. Next, oil filter. Air flow, high flow. Nice and easy. Little bit of oil on your finger. Run it round. All you do, nice fresh oil and put it back on as hard hand tight as you can get it on. Do not use a tool that you get it off with and over tighten it, you have the same problems trying to get the damn thing off and it's not fun. Nice and easy. The cloth. Simple as that. Now fill with oil. Remember when you're filling with oil, Get it just to the top, don't forget it, okay? Start the bike up, let it run for a little while, then re-top up anything you may need. Do not overfill. It's really bad overfilling these sort of bikes. Nice and simple. When filling, some of these are stupidly tight. I suppose maybe stop people messing with them. Some of the dipstick on here, some of a little viewing screen like this one does. Nice and easy viewing screen. Fill her up. I mean, that's an all. How simple is it? And now for the not such fun job. Take a look at them. Don't look so new now, did they, the other ones? This is a bit of a job. Put them in, tighten up, get them all back in again. And that's it. The sump plug. I can't admit. Don't forget to put a sump plug back in, please, okay? <laughs> Just in case someone goes, oh, all the oil pours back out again. We are full, we're cleaned nicely back up again. Plugs in, see the other side. Just a note of caution, you can see the two HT leads. Be careful of any pipes or any wires, okay? Make sure you put them back in the same way they came out. Now this side was easier because the I didn't have to take the coil packs apart. But that pipe there, <laughs> there, <laughs> pulled out made it easier so just make sure you've not pulled nothing when you get these two in this side was a bit more of a mess I had to take two coal packs off and remembered what went where I had to take apart a lot more so as I said take photographs however you wish to do it mark it with tape whatever you need to do but I said it was a lot harder to get these two in because anyway yeah let's get these two in hammering along let's keep going so when I say it's funny I don't mean it as in ha 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 ha. I mean it's really annoying that the second one in this side was a bitch. Um, the other three fell in nicely and tightened up. This one was a little bit tough to start with. I couldn't hand tighten it on the uh, socket. Normally you can drop it in a hand tight. It wouldn't let me do it. So I took it out, um, sprayed it up, put it back in, took it out, and I got worried that I was cross threading it. But it turns out it's fine and it went in, it was just a bitch. But don't forget all the other bits like this, has a little bolt that goes in there, and that goes back up there, and that holds the fairing on. Power source back in, tank back on, fuel. This thing's ready to start. 
panels, different matter. That's when I wheel it out and sort the exhaust out. Let's get this all back on. Remember, everything you took off, I say take pictures, make sure you get it back on. This is the battery though. Four years, still got charged, still worked perfectly. That's bloody good. Let's get on with it. Remember to get the plugs underneath here that fit on where they're supposed to go back in. You don't want to put all these back on here and then realise that you forgot something. So the fuel pipe that I mentioned before is under here, the two electrodes and then the air pipes. You must get them back on. I was going to pull it back on, it won't start. And yeah, just, just remember, say, so take photographs. And let me get this down because it's quite heavy. Ignition on. Dead heavily. Lights all on. Pulling clutch. coming around what's happening is where it wasn't put together properly before now I'm putting them on properly and I've got all the bungs in it's sort of uh, 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 and I'm going to take them off put them back on again it's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be actually I wanted to do like you see like you go and it's all done so that's what you're going to see but it's taking some time just to work out every little clip without damaging anything and put them back on and the right shape bolts obviously I've got some of these little ones but I haven't got enough and what I don't want to do is what he did have a, a different coloured one. I don't know the right size, it's going to do that. I don't want to put the wrong ones where you can't see them. So I'm trying to make the ones you can see, like these ones here now, are the black ones that are good ones. And these ones are going to be the best ones I can, but underneath you won't see them, so they're not so bad. But I've got some reason ones. So it's coming along. Let's get on with it. Okay, she's all back together. I am not going to pretend it was easy. Because it wasn't. Oh. See, the brackets... I don't know, look, it just took an awful bloody long time to get all the panels back on. However, she is back together. I'm now going to wheel her out and I'm going to wash and polish her and then you can have a lovely look around her. Uh, that was fun. At the end of the day, you didn't need to take all the panels off that I did and if you did, they would go back on easier. It was just how bad the nuts and screws and the little bits on the back were all bunged out and it just put them in there, I had to push them all back through and they weren't settled right because they aren't the original panels as well. So there's a few little bits which makes it very difficult. You know, and you're only talking, you know, five mil, but that, that push up pushes everything else out. But it's all back together. It is solid. Look at that, it is solid. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Wheel it out. You're going to get to see it. Have her back together, washed, not yet polished. But would you like to look round? So there we have her. Look at that. Not yet super polished. You get the picture. See, just black ones. All in there makes it look a lot, lot nicer. Don't show out so badly. Then red fin stripes look gorgeous. Not like the green one does. Exhaust look, oh, it's just horrid. I just don't like them. Anyway, there you go. I'm impressed with that though. I think it looks a lot better than the handle. I've got to touch up a few little bits like that. So I'm gonna do that before I start polishing. That's why I haven't polished as of yet. Exhaust still look horrible. <laughs> but look at that. Thoughts, please. And she starts on the button. I know for some of you, you think, well, it's no difference really, Mark. I know it's a difference. I know that everything is solid on here. There's the bolts where they're supposed to be, the right size bolts, the right depth. They're all in properly, not over tight because they've now all got rubber grommets on them. Do a little bit of rubbing down, a little bit of black smooth right because that's, that's really good stuff that is. It's not just blowing over spray. It's what I did all the frame bits with as well when I've done them up. Um, I've owed it already. 
42 in the back, 42 in the front, I've been told. Someone says 40, 38, 40. I will double check. I know there's different models, Gen 1 and 2, etc. But everybody said to me, wow, like 17 and 21 was not good. So luckily I got home. It's going to ride so much better. Still, still in conversations with a couple of exhaust people. Um, there's a Deadly Spider exhaust company. I'll let you guess that yourself. Um, they'll wait until next week. Uh, GPR as well, a few others. So let's see where I get with them. I just don't want to pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, you know, 400 pound. It's just not worth it. I'll never get it back if I sell it. And then I've got to decide. And this really is hard, you know. Um, my heart, this all day long. I don't care what the weather is. All day long, beautiful bike. Get me to work, get me to wherever I want to go. My head says this one. All weather bike, luggage, Nice seating position, heated grips, guard, screen. It's a workhorse. Some of you are saying keep both. I know. <laughs> can't really. I can, but I can't really. Um, don't know. Which would you do? What would you do? Come on in. I'll do a poll. Which one would you like? Which one would you keep? Which one would you have? I know some of you already said this is the brute. Blech. You know, me calling it sexy. 186 mile an hour bike, yeah, and the weight, this put on a stand, over it goes, this is much heavier, pop, the technique, the way the weight of the bike is, I mean look, petrol tank right up here, you know, 20 odd litres, here, petrol tank's actually down here, that's why it doesn't feel heavy, please like, share and subscribe, let me know what you think, let me know which one you have, I will polish this now, or paint it and polish it, Job done, I'm very, very happy. Knowing now it's a lot safer on the road. I think that's what I do with my pets as well. I know it's safe. I know that if I sold this one, that whoever rides it, it's just ready to go. There's not gonna be any scary problems with it. Nothing wrong, I know that. Happy days. Please like, share, subscribe, take care of yourselves on the road. Bye-bye.